This is it, the final round. These two games have gone undefeated until this moment. Which one will prevail? Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we decide on a winner. It's Donkey Kong Country versus The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I'm going to have to detract Donkey Kong Country immediately because the cartridge is not banana yellow. <laughs> I'm just kidding, joke. That's a joke. Well, they made up for uh, it with the Super Nintendo. So. All right. I mean, well, that, uh, that's what I meant. And it's on the Game Boy Speaking too. of color palettes, let's talk about it. Visuals. Visual. Wow. Mm. I'm going to go with Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. And, and that's just because they had the benefit of coming out later and mm. more polished them. Look better. I, I, I argued our last episode about for, for, for Zelda in this regard, and I still think that holds the, 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 the stylized characters, the world map, the, just the colors just pop, man. The fact that Zelda's green and everything else around him is green and it's steel. Zelda! Zelda oh! He did it! <laughs> I did it! He had an old man, man joke! Boo this man! He had an old man I'm moment. looking at him and I said, Boo this man! Oh. Link. Why Get off the show! Why, Get out! Why Metroid can't crawl? Get out! <laughs> There's the door. You gotta go all the way around. We're Leave your open. patch at the door. <laughs> uh, but the, just you know what I'm saying though. Like even Brent will be taking even though Link and, and <laughs> the color schemes in Link to the Past just work perfect. It's kind of yeah, like Mario. The color just, palette, the, they, the, the palette. Like, like if you separated the art all, direction. if you took every single color from Zelda and you set out the different Pantone squares, like yes. you're at Home Depot. Right. Yeah, it would be right, very right, impressive. Right, exactly. But With that 3D chip, man. I haven't, I, well, I haven't said either or at this point. I think that Zelda is, um, it's really good. Just like you said. I, think, mm-hmm. I agree with everything you just said. I think the thing about Donkey Kong Country that sets it apart is not just the, uh, the, the 3D aspect of it, um, but I think it's the the way that it does certain things. I mentioned it in the previous episode we just recorded about like the water level creating the ripples in the mm-hmm. in the background, mm-hmm. the parallaxing and fear factory areas where it just creates a sense of depth a little bit day better. Night cycling. Um, yeah, the first day, map yeah, gets dark. Day night in. cycling, raining in certain levels, mm-hmm. snow getting progressively more intense as you go on. Ooh, that gets um, rough too. The, some of the levels are dark. Uh, mm-hmm. And you have the little the parrot with the flashlight that they totally took the white flash off, so right. people with uh, epileptic seizures wouldn't get issues. Yeah. They, I noticed that on the Switch version, by the way, because um, man, it used to hurt my eyes when I used to play it. Yeah. Um, I think I would give Don Kong Country the edge on the, the level of detail mm-hmm. in it, um, but that's not discounting Legend of Zelda. I think Legend yeah. of Zelda is no. still consistently I, good. I, I, it's just, I agree with that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, oh, <laughs> audio. Zelda. You can see. And I say that with a ginormous Everest sized grain of salt. It is it is razor thin margins here. But Man. the music on Zelda is just a tad better. Hard disagree. I think Donkey Kong Country. I'm just thinking about it from. I'm, dude, I've been editing these videos, yeah. and these both these games have come so far. Yeah. I struggle to find continuous good background music from Zelda because the loops well, it's short. Well, because the loops are short, yeah. but the track list it's is, list is, is small. it's a small track, dude. Mm-hmm. Small track. Oh, no, no doubt about that. I don't disagree and, there. And whenever the track list is small and some of them are skippable, uh, it's just like, man, like I don't want to. I don't want to talk crap because I have to. I have to to compare. Yeah. But, like, name a bad song from Donkey Kong Country right now. What do you think is a bad one from both of you? Both of you. Name a bad one. Or what do you think is the lowest quality one out of them all? Think of, like, tell me what you think is a lower quality one. Uh, it's probably some King. of the industrial stuff. Maybe a cave. Oh, Fear level? Factory? No. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Tell me a bad one. I don't care for the caves. Some of the ice stuff. Cave goes. Kind of, yeah. And you hear no, the drips. That's not bad. But you hear the drips. Yeah, no, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. But with with Legend of Zelda, I can tell you I've talked I've talked about the fortune teller song. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about the boss music. The boss music. Dun 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 dun. It's good, but it goes and goes and goes. It's like oh man, yeah. it's like it'll drive it into your head. Mm-hmm. Whereas with like. The, the music, uh, I mean, I hate to even compare it to like Ocarina of Time, but it's the technical advancement. Yeah. It's just contextually, mm-hmm. it works a little bit better. The idea that the different boss fights have different songs, you know, that only, helps. Only two of them. <laughs> only two of them, but still. Um, I mean, gameplay gal, you think it's over? You think you're done with that fight? The end? Question mark. 
Wait, say what now? Gangplank the end. Donkey oh, Kong. Gangplank the end. Right. You think it's done? Okay. You know what? I'm gonna switch my vote. I'm gonna go Donkey Kong Country. I mean, we're. I'm, I'm, I'm DKC. Just, I'm, go I'm DKC. Kong I'm Kong Kong just saying. DKC. I'm, you, no, you've convinced me. You've convinced me because you're right. I, I, I can't think of any bad music. I'm just trying to get. For, like, I'm not Donkey saying Kong, that to Kong, get Donkey Kong to win. I genuinely want to know, like, in genuine conversation. Well, I you, don't. I know. What do you think is the like? You're not trying to, but you did. Like the worst, because like to me, I'm thinking, okay, what about Candy Kong's place? That's a bad one, right? But doom, 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 really doom, 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 doom. I mean, if I have to tear it, that's at the bottom. Bam, 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 bam. It's even the boss music. Bam, 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 bam. But yeah, see, even that one, you think it's bad, you, and you listen to it, you're like, oh, holy moly, it's way better. Ding, ding, ding. Or how about the bad boss buddy? is probably the best one. The, the, the. the Oh, I don't know because it's got the drum breakdown. Mm-hmm. The, mm. Yeah, I know. I don't. Yeah. I say Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country. All right. Uh, let's let's save mechanics for last. So let's go to narrative. And, and, one last thing oh, sorry, about Zelda. One last thing about Zelda. I don't want to discount the fact that Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past has laid the foundation in and for like the most iconic themes because the ones that are good that are there are they are what? Steve? What are they, Steve? Uh, they slap. Bangers, baby! They're bangers! We got bangers here, bangers there, bangers like and mash! Zelda, Zelda's Lullaby or the great, ah. the great Fairy Fountain, it started there. Banger. The uh, Hyrule Castle. Banger. But, like, think about how many how many times it's come back. You know what I'm saying? It laid some pretty legendary <laughs> foundation for the rest of the franchise <laughs> to, to, to use those tracks. Banger from the dead! So I wanted to say that as well. Also, sound effects. Banger! Uh, we, we covered that. Anyway, go. Cool. Okay, so narrative. Narrative. Zelda, easy. Zelda, yeah. Zelda, that's, Zelda, that's, Zelda. that's a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda, 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 Zelda. What? What? Going to get your banana you back? How, you, love, you love how you can have the most intense debate and then be like, "Oh yeah, Zelda's whatever." <laughs> I don't. I don't you want your bananas back? I, I don't even know how to debate that. I'm an alligator. That's that's like a defense attorney is like, yeah, "This guy shot this guy in broad daylight. There's there's 30 things of camera footage that all around. I'm like, hey, defend him." <laughs> he, this is a different. This guy's wearing different clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how you defend that. The only way you could defend no, it is on like it's, procedural. It's stuff. not a question. Yeah. It's not uh, a question. question. Okay. All right. So here we go. Mechanics. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. I'm gonna say uh, Zelda here. Yeah. I'm gonna say Zelda here mm-hmm. because it's because uh, you know, and, and and it's just because, and the only reason I'm saying that is because Donkey Kong Country is a platformer. Platformer. You really just. You, you move, you jump, there are some secrets and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and, and it's great, and it does what it does really well, but just the fact that there's more things to do, more directions you can go. I agree with Steve, I'm going Legend of Zelda because mm-hmm. they give you, over the course of time, they give you more and more pieces of equipment to yeah. work with, and it requires you as the player to, your game to, to think about what you're going to do to try yeah. to solve the issue at hand. It gives yeah. you a problem, and you have the tools to solve it, it doesn't tell you necessarily how to do it, it tells you how to use your items. But all the rest is up to you to you know, use your hook shot to get across a certain right. chasm. Um, I would have liked to seen with Zelda a little bit more utility in the items. I agree. Outside yeah, of the, their dungeons, you get yeah. dungeon yeah. item. Yeah. Zelda has always had that problem, though. Zelda's always had that problem where it's like... You... Except for in um, the Link Between Worlds, which mm-hmm. is an incredible Zelda game based on Link to the Past, where they started the idea of you don't necessarily need any of these items, but they could help you... You get across it faster. And, you them them, yeah. and it's all up to the player's agency to to bring them with or without them to whether they, whether, them they, or whether, buy them. whether they want to challenge to be like, hey, I want to get through without the bow and arrow, or I want to do this. But all of them were the dungeons were designed so that you didn't need a specific item. Yep. And that's the only issue I have with Zelda's core gameplay mechanics is like once you use the hook shot in the water area that you get it in, you don't really use it a whole lot. You do, mm-hmm. but you don't use it a whole lot outside. Same thing yeah. with the flame the flame rod, just like okay, maybe one puzzle here, one puzzle there. Um, I think like with Tears of the Kingdom on the horizon uh, and Breath of the Wild, uh, those games did a really good job of experimenting with non-linear gameplay yep. and allowing the people to figure out how to yeah. solve the issues in their own way. Especially now, and that's tears. that's really the kind of the unique thing about these games now. Donkey Kong Country is just really, really good at what it does. It is, it, yeah, it, but but it, it masters does, that. It does that what all If we were does. talking about Donkey Kong Country two here, I'd be harder pressed. But Donkey Kong Country one. It does introduce new mechanics as you go along, but nothing that you're not you're not gonna struggle. But you're like, okay, a barrel blasts. Okay, that one blasts automatically. I get it. Mm-hmm. Um, and now it's just kind of up to timing. It's a and, timing and thing. A skills. lot of it's timing and re- reflexes. Whereas with Zelda, you might have to think like, hmm. no, it's a strategy. Like, I need I need yeah. to get 
to the bottom floor. I don't know how to that do it. My argument. There's a switch here. I, I haven't seen a switch. Like even though I was complaining about the ice dungeon in the last episode, yeah, it still required you to like, be like, yeah. man, like, how, where, what do I need to do? And then you're like, oh wait, I just had to go the other way around and drop down because the floor is, it dropped me down a little bit. Yeah. Floor. Um, I mean, there's they, they, we talked about this before. I don't know if this this takes away from. I, I have to go with Zelda as well. I, I, Cause like, like we talk about this uh, with with Donkey Kong, there's 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 secrets that you might never discover because you accidentally fall in a hole, right? That you, I didn't know that there was a barrel under this map unless mm -hmm. I actually dropped yeah, down. Yeah, it is it is designed a little bit more for like, hey, maybe you should buy the guide. You can right. find all the secrets. Right. Whereas Zelda's kind of like, but if you explore, you can figure it out. It's not as it's not as like um, abstract as like just go throw bombs at every wall and or right. go, go set this bush on fire. Yeah. You need the Nintendo power. Everything in Link to the Past is a little bit more wide open, and it, I don't think it restricts you in a way that Donkey Kong no. Country does. Agreed. Oh, yeah, I gotta go with Link to the Past. Okay. Well, that's that's the three biggies. That's the narrative, mechanics, and so we say uh, and visuals and, and audio, so let's just get to it. What stands the test of time? Draw. Draw. Agreed. That's a draw. They're both good. They're both they're fantastic. Both fan uh, yeah, they're both really great. If we want to play a Donkey Kong Country game, we want back to Donkey Kong I think Kong both Country. of them can be compared to their successors and be like, yeah. well, they could have done this better, but not not like in a sense no. where it's like, man, I'm so glad they fixed that problem. Yeah. I think I'm going to go draw with a little just slight bias to Donkey Kong Country. Mm. Mm. You like root beer, do you? I do. I do. I want some root beer right now. Yes, I do. Root beer. Uh, all right. Whoa, whoa. That was more revolutionary. Draw. Neither one were particularly revolutionary. Well, I don't know. Donkey Kong Country is a little revolutionary to me, in my yeah, opinion. Than, than yeah, Legend. So From a Legend, Legend does some different things. Again, I've mentioned it before with the light and dark mechanics, the way they cleverly hid that in the game. Yeah. But, I mean, it is a platformer. Yeah. Mario does similar platforming things. Not, not, I, not identical, it's a stupid comparison, but like there are other platformers, like you mentioned. This is a platforming system. Um, but I'm gonna say Zelda. I think um, I think they're both revolutionary for their own rights, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, Donkey Kong yeah. Country is more revolutionary from a technical perspective, whereas Link to the Past is more revolutionary from a design perspective. Yeah, moving. I feel like from, Legend of Zelda from, yeah. is yeah, kind of setting the groundwork for making a big open world and exploring it and kind of figuring out yeah, which way to go. The chemistry. And yeah, and, and, and I think they kicked off that genre. And, and yeah. instead, instead of being did. like, "Hey, here you go this way, run that way," that's where you go. Mm -hmm. Zelda, like, if you know where to go, it's like, "Okay, I left the sanctuary. I'm going straight to the first dungeon." But yeah, if you don't know that, that what it marks in your map is a little X to go talk to the yep. villagers and the villagers are like oh our village elder he left he went to the the plains or he went to the valley in the east where mm -hmm. the dungeon is you go there he's and you go talk to the guys like hey uh, i'm here but you need to go in that dungeon over there and i'll give you these pegasus boots so you can run faster and then it just like how you're able to go get the bug net when you're ready mm -hmm. you might not ever get the bug net or go get the jars and figuring out like hey i can catch this what, what all can i catch and put what can i put in this jar i can put potions in this jar i can put a bee in this jar i can put uh, a fairy in this jar, like a pee pee in this jar. I'm just kidding, you can't do that. Um, Put some room in there. Uh, and then also, the fact that like you could be, you, you could finish Zelda without finding everything as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas Don Kong is like, no matter what what you do, you are going to go through each level in the sequence that they are in. There's no no if yeah, ands or buts about it. Shortcuts? I don't think so. No, no, it's no straight no, through. Straight you have to do every level. Easy. You got to do them all. Mm -hmm. Whereas with Zelda, you might play through again and be like, hmm. I never got I that. that. Why am I missing some item slots in this thing? Yeah. And you go like, oh, I had this cake the whole time I could have been using? Well, that would have been nice. So, mm. the reason why I'm picking Zelda... I'm saying draw for this, the, by the way. The, the reason I'm picking Zelda here is because it inspired pretty much any uh, open world game like that uh, after afterwards. I mean, I mean, I mean, we would not have Elder Scrolls. We would not have... Um, mm, I mean, it... It was the other way. open world games. I have to go with just the slightest edge. Ah oh, man, I don't know. I say draw. I think they're both revolutionary. Yeah, you know, right for for different technical, reasons. Yeah, for different exactly. reasons. Exactly. No, because I, I want to give it to DKC because of its technical prowess. And and I, and I get I'm using because now I'm like tied in my head. I have to put my Jacob kid kid glasses on. Well, you're it. thinking visually. You're thinking yeah, visually. visually. Exactly. Yeah. But the things that are going on and the audio way, they, they were doing some revolutionary stuff much like Metroid well. does the, 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 the level design uh, through through Link to the Past okay yeah let's move on because we could stick there um, alright then then what's uh, that's kind of vote cool. time no or? what's more representative for the console Zelda, Zelda. Say, that's vote time vote time I say Steve goes first okay 
Ah, uh, you know, I mean, I, I'm i sure everybody knows where I'm going to go with this, so I'm just going to come out and say The Legend of Zelda is probably one of the best games of all time. It's up there in the top ten, probably top five of all time. A Link to the Past is just one of those games that is just so iconic that they are forever heralded in the in the halls of fame, in the Valhalla of gaming. Mm-hmm. Anywhere you go, if somebody identifies as a gamer, they will have intricate knowledge of A Link to the Past, even if they haven't played it. And it's just one of those games that are just so iconic for its time, so unique in 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 the way that it delivers itself. You can cut grass. You can cut grass. You can cut grass in it. It's and every now and again you get some, some money. So I have to go with Please. The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Things. Jacob, would you like to go next? I'm just gonna throw bias there, Donkey Kong Country. Oh wow! Really? Uh, just because, because I, <laughs> if, if I'm if I'm thinking critically, if I'm uh, being paid and I'm a reviewer and I, I have to go are, with Link to the Past because I appreciate the game. Are you, are you being petty? You're like, but I'm, Donkey Kong Country. But I'm petty because no, no. Donkey Kong Country is just fun and I can do that and I'm voting that. It's a good game, and I'm I'm if I'm I, surprised. I can go back to that island. If I got an island, and I got a library. I'm just me personally. Jacob is both, just not like gonna both have Zelda games on there. Going with you. I think. Um, well, maybe so because that's a good that's a good word. Kill time. Yeah. Uh, All right, it's up to you, sir. I mean, I don't want to end like this, but it's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say Zelda. Mm-hmm. It's just Donkey Kong. I, I was going to say I'm surprised Donkey Kong Country made it this far. Not because I didn't. I don't think it's a good game. But because um, of all the other titles that we've, we've I mean, it went through. it went up against Super Mario World. It went up against Yoshi's Island, and mm-hmm. I voted, I voted against Donkey Kong. Wait, no, yeah, I voted against Donkey Kong Country mm-hmm. for Yoshi's Island, and I, I didn't think that was gonna. Ha- I didn't think I was gonna make it past that point. Just and, like Duck Hunt. Uh huh. Just like Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Uh, <laughs> I vote no. I voted against. Say I didn't vote against Duck Hunt. I know. I know. <laughs> Actually, I don't think there's anything I've voted. That hasn't happened this time. I don't think. There's been nothing that I've voted against every time that's gone up. Oh, okay. Except, wait, Zelda? No, I voted for Zelda the first time. Okay, yeah, no, you voted yeah. against Zelda, yeah. Voted against well, Zelda. well, last time, but not the first time. Yeah. Is there anything I voted against every single time, but it kept moving forward? I don't think so. No. No. Oh, yeah, so I guess I'm good on that yeah. one. <laughs> Season one. <laughs> different beast, wasn't it? That was. Uh, but no, uh, Legend of Zelda, I mean... It rightfully deserves it. Yeah. Rightfully so. And I, I, I can't not vote against and it this time. For those that are out there, like, like if you saw the lineup before the series started, it's like, oh, I bet they picked Legend of Zelda. But there's a reason why. There's a reason, like Steve said, it's in the Hall of Fame. There's a reason why it's her- heralded by casual, hardcore, and people outside of the gaming industry. I want to stay for the fans. record. I want to stay for the record. I voted for Chrono Trigger. You did. And I also voted for Super Metroid over this game. Not because I hate it. Mm-hmm. But I do want to, I just want to put it out there. I didn't pick this just because of Zelda. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. Pick it, didn't, I didn't pick it just because of Zelda. I didn't either. Man, that last one was hard. Well, you I... literally said you picked it because of Zelda. <laughs> you, <laughs> you said, it's Zelda. <laughs> Wait, when did I say that? For the last one? I think I, I think one? you said that. Didn't you say it like, Not the last I, one. it's Zelda. Maybe. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't remember. Um... <laughs> I can't. We, I can't not pick Zelda. Something like that. Yeah, can, can we can we read the time? No, no. Let's <laughs> not. Let's not. We're just gonna we're gonna go forward and and we're gonna assume that Stephen did it. We're gonna assume that Stephen did it. All right. That's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna yeah. we're not gonna do any flashbacks. We're not gonna check no, the time. I'm not gonna clip it. I'm too lazy we're, for that. We're gonna assume that Stephen <laughs> contradicted himself. And we're just gonna move on from can it. We, can we talk about this real quick before we end? Because we we have a little bit of time on this one. Um, we're at 20 minutes. Can we just say, I, I have to say, personally, for me, this was f- super fun, and this was super, super difficult. I, and, I, and the joke about, if you watched the episode before we recorded this last one, which was, which was Link to the Past versus Metroid, it was, that's why it was so fun for me watching Steve squirm, because I had to squirm I when squirm. it came to Mario Kart and, and Star Fox. I had to put down my boy. I had to squirm with Chrono Cro- 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 and Legend of Zelda. But that's the thing, like, this console, and, and look, that's the 16 that made the cut. If we're gonna open that that that, oh, that, that like a sixty four bra- team bracket. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Bracket. Like we could. Oh, there's sixty four on there. I, I mean, I could put a lot of S and S games on there. I could throw them in yeah, there. Yeah. What, what if it was just like personal picks? Like I I want this, and you can't tell me no. Right. Exactly. Because like I don't think Super Mario Kart would be on there for me. I I mean that's, yeah. 
I think um, I, I mean there was games that I wanted to put on here like Earthbound. I wanted to yeah. put Earthbound on here. I wanted to put I want to put True Lies. I want to put Donkey <laughs> Kong Country too. I mean, but, but that's but that's that's what I'm trying to say in in that for me this is for me for me this for me, for me personally and, I, and for the both the two gentlemen beside me this console is just so I mean down to the dead gum. Switch. This is an iconic the piece of history. Yeah, you know, the dead gum. I, I mean, look at this thing. Look how, thing. look how, look how the look color how scheme. Yeah. Freaking, uh, the God, fact that um, it. you know the history. The the fact that the Super Famicom had the buttons that were convex, not concave, right? And who uh, was the designer that made the, the 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 turn to go? Hey, why don't we do it concave? The was buttons. that pay your coin? Maybe. Yeah. I know he made the D-pad, but maybe, I don't maybe. But just the history in that, right? Just the fact that there's little I like, changes. I like the Super Famicom's got the little buttons, look like M and M's. They do look like M and M's. Now I eat them. But uh, I, I love this console, and, and man, that was fun. That was really fun. It's, it was it, tough. It is tough, but I think the cool thing is, like, when I go back and edit these, uh, I like to listen to like what we're for me, of course, because it's my my arguments but like sometimes i'm like mm, man, i could have said this better i could have said that better right but i do want to state for the record that from the chrono trigger episode i think i did a really good job yeah. <laughs> like yeah, yeah setting it all apart I, was, I think the way i i just talked about both those games equally without like stating the facts of both of them and, and not i think i did that good for a lot of these uh probably minus this episode but uh yeah, it's, it's, if anything, it, it really taught me that I need to go back and give a lot of these games some like, more love. Some more love, sure. Yeah, dude, they're good, dude. I caught myself. I say it every episode. Every time I play, I, I play these to capture the footage. I catch myself being like, okay, I need to play this for about twenty-five minutes. And I'll keep playing. And I'll look at the timer. It's like thirty minutes. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll put it down. Yeah. And I'll right. Like, you know. Yeah. So, Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past is our champion for the SNES. There you have it. I guess, to nobody's surprise, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past has crowned the winner of this season of Video Game Fight Club. Does it deserve it? Was it predictable? Tell us how you feel about this whole season in the comments down below, and thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this season, and we would love to hear your suggestions about the show's future in the comments down below.